F. Paul Wilson has written over 40 books, including science fiction, horror, thrillers, and others that span genres. Wilson is best known for his Repairman Jack series, which was a concern of his when Wilson started writing. It was supposed to be a one-off, and by the time I finished it, I knew I had a series character, and I didn't want to write a series, because I already had the next two books written in my head, and I was afraid it would take over my writing career. So I waited 14 years before I did the second one. And the second one came about in a strange way. I had a multi-book contract for medical thrillers. And I qu quickly, the select was, uh, you know, a huge advance for me. And um, I was offered multi-book contract, more medical thrillers, and I s quickly came to the conclusion that and they weren't for me. They were very formulaic, and um, the, the intrepid internist and the uh, conspiracy and the plot and all that stuff, it just, it, I felt like I was writing the same book over and over again. So I had an idea for a techno, techno thriller, and Jack was the perfect protagonist, but I had one more book on the uh, contract. And so I said, no, hell with it. I'll just have a doctor hire Jack. And therefore, I can say it's a medical thriller, you know? And um, the publisher wasn't fooled, but they liked the book. It was Legacies. And so they published it, and it sold very well. And they said, how about another Jack? I said, okay, one more. And I did Conspiracies. And I had such fun with Conspiracies that I said, hmm, okay, let's do the series. And so I think it ended up with 23 books. Uh, I did three of him as a teenager, and I did three as the early years, and then the main line was, was about 17 books. So, um, and my, it, my fear was realized that it did take over my, my writing career. But um, I was lucky in that, because see, I like to hop genres and within the Repairman Jack format, I could write almost any kind of, I, I did a medical thriller with him, I did a conspiracy thriller, I did a haunted house novel, I did all sorts of um, you know, different genres within, and the marketing part, department was very happy. They marketed it as a Repairman Jack book, and I was very happy because I was writing different types. And the readers, you know, seemed to like it, you know, that they, they weren't always sure what they were going to get each time, but it, you know, uh, they kept coming back, so they must have been liking it. So uh, it worked out for everybody. Writing a series can be limiting, as a lot of fans want the novels to be very similar, even down to the location. There are readers that want another one just like the other one. And um, they were probably a little disappointed and said, well, this isn't like the other one. This is, you know, but uh, but the, I, only, I, I only took him out of New York City once, and uh, when he went to Florida in Gateways. Um, otherwise, New York City was, was, a, was a big character in the book, too, because uh, New York City is a very multifaceted city. I mean, the, all these different neighborhoods have all their own characters, so I could actually be, in a sense, traveling around while moving five miles, I can, but traveling great distances culturally. And uh, so, but... Uh, I've retired him, and I just wrote a mystery adventure that goes to four different countries. So I, uh, I got myself out of New York, and uh, really got myself out of New York. So that was a lot of fun. Wilson's novels are famous for their realistic dialogue, and it's something he works hard to maintain. I work as a method actor. I put myself in the character's skin, and I assume all of their cultural references and work it, work it from the inside out. So therefore, they sound like who they are. And I get what I'm saying, would, would he, how would they express this? And what's the frame of reference? So I, I mean, I won't have a truck driver reference Chaucer, you know, you know the, the, uh, as he's driving down the road. 
because he, he probably watches NASCAR and reads the sports pages. So what's in, 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 he dropped out of high school so he could go ride, you know, drive a truck. He doesn't know Chaucer. The author knows Chaucer. And that's the author saying, hey, you know, I have an MFA. Um, I, I try to avoid that. I try to stay in character. And so people don't say complete sentences. They'll often truncate their, their words. What I write is somewhere between a real conversation and a formal dialogue. Um, a real conversation, if you've ever, just go, you can get them online, FBI transcripts where they've bugged people. They're, they're almost incomprehensible. Sentence fragments, they start something, they end something, they don't end it, they, they, they mutter. Um, so it's got to be better than that, but it can't sound, you know, formal. Um, and yet, you know, and you also want to avoid the info dump in conversations where a lot of authors are tempted to do that. Um, you know, as you know, John. So, uh, all right, John knows, but you're going to tell him all about it. But really, you're talking to the reader, and the reader knows it. And say, wait a minute. You know? So you gotta, you gotta watch all that kind of stuff. But um, dialogue is, has always been my strong point. And, um, and you, like, there was, I think it was, yes, it was Dark City. Um, when Jack first meets Doc Hargis, when he's all cut up. And I think that was some of the best dialogue I've ever written. I really, I, I re reread it and said, wow. I said, I, I really nailed the two characters. Because they they just met and they're sort of fencing, they don't you know they're not buddies and but you know they have to have a relationship because one guy is so summing you up uh, and so they have to have some sort of back and forth and um, I think that's one of those things where you, it's one of the rewards of writing you know is when you look and say oh man I I nailed that one and that's you know you live for those moments. Wilson's advice for aspiring writers is to write and also to do a little more. You know, the first thing you gotta do is write. And you have, to, you have to finish what you write. That is the most important thing. Yeah. Editors do not wanna see three chapters and an outline of something that's not finished. They wanna know, they wanna know not only have you finished this book, you're halfway through the next. Because they want to build a career. And so you've got, and you want to build a career. I mean, that's where your, your, you know, your, uh, your intentions collide in a good way. Because um, they don't want a, a one book wonder. They want to build a career so they can sell more and more books. And you want to build a career so you can sell more and more books and keep writing those books and get paid for it. So, um, and, I, and I usually tell writers that what I did when I started, I was a part-time writer. I wrote three pages a day every day, 21 pages a week. And, and I wouldn't save it and say, okay, I won't do the three pages today, I'll do six pages on Saturday. No, no, no. You do three pages every day. And you use your, your commute time or whatever, you turn off the radio, stop listening to other people, compose what you're gonna write in your head. Then you sit down, it's all there. You can do those three pages because you've already written them, you just have to type them now. You have to transcribe them. And that way you can be a part-time writer. You've got 540 pages in six months. That's a big novel. So, you know, if you write less than that, that's fine. And, but you'll be done sooner. And you, and you, you can write two novels a year that way, being a, a, a part-time writer. So, um, but it's moving the grains of sand. And then you, you finally build, you know, the mountain. But every day you've got to move that grain of sand. Wilson spoke to BCPL while attending the Creatures, Crimes, and Creativity Con, an annual gathering of authors, aspiring authors, and fans of reading. Next year's con features best-selling author Alexandra Sokolov and will be held in September.